Now the pace of events increased greatly. Construction was started on some of the fair's most important buildings. The Science Pavilion, Opera House, and heralding the advent of the most modern method of surface transportation, the monorail was started. The very boldness, the exciting possibilities of a monorail were very much in keeping with the whole spirit of the Seattle World's Fair. The start of construction on the monorail culminated a very long period of study and patient negotiation. But by persistent effort, the problems of location, operation, and finance were solved. The monorail was new, and it looked toward the future. It was one of the things that most quickly captured the public's imagination and support. Another structure that quickly became closely identified with the Seattle World's Fair was also the embodiment of a unique idea, an eye-stretching structure that would permit visitors to travel 600 feet up into space. This was the Space Needle, the fair's crowning glory. Both the monorail and the Space Needle symbolized confidence in the fair because both were financed and built by private capital. 